So there's this guy named Matt Moore, not to be confused with Michael Moore, uh, Matt Moore. He is uh, an ex-gay Christian advocate, and uh, it turns out he was exposed on the site Grindr. Uh, for those of you who don't know, actually it's an app I think Grindr is, and uh, what Grindr is, is, is uh, a basically a hookup site for gay people. So, <laughs> I want to read you some of Matt Moore's quotes, because he's been blogging for Christian Post, for the Christian Post, and he writes extensively about how Christianity helped him turn away from a, a gay lifestyle. Uh, in fact, here we go, he says, quote, I am wrong in having been on Grindr. I haven't changed my views on homosexuality, the Bible, etc. Creating a Grindr profile and talking to guys on it was major disobedience on my part. Disobedience to Christ. Disobedience to a loving and gracious God. Thankfully, I believe that he forgives me for this disobedience. I believe the blood of Christ covers this disobedience. And I won't be on Grindr again. Ever. When attempting to explain his gay desires, Moore wrote, quote, I had a yearning in my soul that God had placed there for himself, but I was perverting that desire and directing it toward people instead of my creator. Uh, he, quote, never really thought I wanted God to cure, my, uh, to cure me of my homosexuality. Uh, he says that every day he deals with desires, but claims it is worth the fight quote, because of the working of the Holy Spirit in my heart, I'm able to see clearly that the homosexual feelings I have are a perversion of the gift of sex that God gave mankind. So, what's our main takeaway from this? As if you guys don't already know. Like, it requires me to give, you know, uh, a little rant on it, right? Dude, there's no such thing as ex-gay. Could you imagine? Oh, could you imagine? All right, so I'm straight, for example, right? Could you imagine me waking up tomorrow going, Oh, I've had it. Uh, I'm tired of being attracted to females. I will now go through therapy to make myself attracted to males. Look, all of you out there, whatever your sexuality is, picture what your sexuality is. Picture waking up tomorrow and trying to make yourself be attracted to the other sex that you're not attracted to. You're laughing, right? Yeah, because it's not possible. That's the whole idea of sexuality. Some people are bisexual. They dabble in a little bit of both. Some people are heterosexual. They only like the opposite sex. Some people are homosexual. They just like the same sex. And there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, it's in nature. I love it when, uh, when Republicans say, oh, it's unnatural. Or, you know, Christians say it's unnatural. How can something found in nature be unnatural? In fact, Something that's found in nature is the definition of natural. So, don't, don't believe this nonsense. And look, part of me even feels bad for guys like this. Look, I don't understand why they want to do it. Why do you want to do it? Why do you want to, uh, you know, try to pretend like you can overcome something that's not overcomable? And why do you even... Comable, nice word. And, and why do you want to pretend like it's a problem in the first place? And, and that's where religion comes into play, because without religion, people wouldn't be able to think that they're doing something wrong by liking the same gender. It's that it, it, people come in judging and say, you're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do that. Why? Because culture says so, I say so, and your God says so. And they scare these poor people who don't do the research and, and, and educate themselves into thinking, oh man, I'm a bad person. I really got to stop what I'm doing. I got to change my lifestyle. Dude, my advice to Matt Moore, give up, man. Give up. You know, move to San Francisco or West Hollywood. Have yourself a good time. Live your life. Be yourself. And stop. See, this is the problem. You're a laughing stock now because you say ridiculous shit like I'm ex-gay. 